Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 119, Fundamental Statistics, Section 5.5, Problem 11. This is Section 5.5, Problem Number 11. It says Laura is going to burn a CD with 12 of her favorite songs. How many different orders could the 12 songs be arranged on the CD? So this also comes down to being a multiplication principle problem. So there are 12 songs. How many choices would you have for the first song? You would have 12 choices for the first song. Now the second song, you'd go down to 11 because you're not going to play the first song twice in a row. So you're down to 11. Now for the next song, how many choices would you have? You'd have 10. And at this point, you can see how the pattern's going to form. The next one would be 9, then 8, then 7. Every next song that you would do, you would have one less choice from the previous song until you're down to the very last one, number 12. There should be only one song left. And you would multiply all these numbers out. 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 7. Uh, 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And if you multiply all those numbers out, it comes out to 479,001,600 different ways you could order 12 songs on a CD. You probably wouldn't guess it would be that high. If I had to guess without doing the math, I might say a couple hundred, but that's actually wrong. It's 479 million. Imagine writing all the different orders out, that'd be a much different problem. Figuring out how many orders there are isn't too bad, but to actually say what they would be would be too tough. <laughs>